everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another speed build, this time something a little bit different than what I ordinarily seem to be doing at the moment, and that is a community build. Yes, I am doing a vet's clinic. Now, obviously, with the release of Cats and Dogs, we have this brand new career, which is the veterinary career. And I actually thought, to be honest, when they announced that obviously we were, we were getting a new career, I thought it'd be just like the scientist and doctor's career, where you just literally pick up your phone, find a job, you know, I thought it would be an interactive career, but I didn't realise that it was going to be a little bit like owning your own shop or bakery or whatever it is, where you have to actually buy the lot in itself. Um, now, with that being said, this isn't a starter vet clinic. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that in the next one. But for this one, I actually created my own kind of let's play family and, um, in it, I wanted to create a really nice vet's clinic with no kind of money barriers or anything like that, but something very, very practical. Now, a little bit like when Get to Work released, we had these pre-existing lots that were already built into the community. So, as a doctor, you had um, a pre-built hospital. As a policeman, obviously, you had a pre-built police station. But in these particular pre-built buildings, um, they weren't very well, the items weren't very well placed in them. And I felt that in order to achieve gold in those careers, I was literally like racing around all over the place. So what I decided to do at the time was actually redesign the lots so that they were more practical, so that I had everything in each of the rooms that I needed to hand in a much smaller space. But I also went with the theme really well, laid out each of the rooms really well. Everything was just like very carefully planned out so that it made doing the career a lot more fun and I had a lot more time to play with to enjoy each of the activities activities that were set out to do during the working day. So when I decided to do this vets clinic, I again decided to do something that was really practical. I wanted it to be really easily functionable as a vet's clinic so that when you came to do your working day everything was at hand and not only that but it had absolutely everything that your pets would need. Now at this point, I didn't actually trial the career until after I built this clinic. So I have made a couple of changes to it. I've just added in a couple of things and taken a couple of things away. Um, now, as you start to do the career, you unlock the option to hire more staff. Um, I'm not really sure what the maximum capacity is, but I know when I built this clinic, I placed in three of the examining tables, which meant that really only three of the staff at any one time could you know be servicing customers so <clears throat> I did end up adding in another one into one of the larger rooms at the back um but yeah with my vets clinic I have seen quite a few of them out already lots of people have redesigned and done their own vets clinics and there's some really really lo lovely lovely vets clinics out there but I wanted to do one that I thought was something that I would probably a like to see and be more realistically see as well. So I went for quite a clinical look, really kind of clean lines. I had this um, really nice kind of pop of blue uh, colour on the exterior and kind of made this little logo up as well. Um, so at the minute I'm just doing the waiting room and I decided to put in obviously plenty of seats, a uh, place as you come through the door where you can check your pets in and I added later on in the corner a little children's area as well because it may be that your children come with you to the vets and they've got a little place um, to play whilst you're sat waiting. And obviously again I added in some pet bowls as well if your pets are hungry and a little toy box. Um, 
there are plenty of pet bowls and toys um, scattered throughout this clinic as well. And also in the back garden is the activities where you do all kind of like you're jumping through the hoops and sort of like your dog's agility testing equipment. That's all out in the back. Um, down the side of the vet's clinic I did put a little seating area as well which I thought just might be nice uh, if you want to sit down on the outside on a nice sunny day which let's face it it is always sunny in the sims but as you can see a lot of the rooms there there is repeat equipment in each of the rooms so I'm literally placing an item in one room and then duplicating it into another one um, and yeah just just trying to make sure that i add in every single piece of equipment that i need to um now i did actually miss out one particular thing and that was the medicine craftomatic machine where i believe you can come up with well obviously create your own uh, medicines now i think i'm up to sort of level seven in the vets Vet veterinary career at the moment and I haven't yet needed to use it so I'm not really sure at what point you will or if it's something that you would use at home but I did edit this com this lot and you know I added one in basically so I must say I'm really quite impressed with this career so far it just feels really sweet and just it's just a really nice touch to the pet's sort of element you know the cats and dogs element to be able to have this career i think it's a really wonderful career i really love sort of the animations of the pets and the little details that the sims teams have thought of about how sometimes pets can be nervous coming to the vets and obviously as you put them up on the table sometimes they're just not fit yet to be examined because they're just in such a state and you have the option to then soothe them and calm them down before examining them all those little details are really quite realistic and that's what i love about building and what I love about The Sims from from sort of my perspective is that I like to create things that are quite realistic and like with this vet's clinic I kind of imagine myself visiting this clinic in real life you know what am I likely to see so I've got like these cabinets in there you know little um it's very plain as well there's not lots of clutter there's not loads of plants or you know anything like that it's just it's what I would expect to see if I went to visit a clinic. And I have to say, after playtesting this, um, I really do enjoy it. I think it's been brilliant for me so far. Um, everything has just worked just fine, I think, at the minute. I've got something like, there's four staff, including myself or my sim at the moment. And um, yeah, it just seems to work really well. Uh, here, I wanted to include kind of like a kitchen area. This would be like your typical staff room. So it's just got a very plain kitchen. There's a little bookcase there. Um, and then a little seating area with a TV because obviously if you're on a break you want to sit down and watch TV and just chill out for a bit whilst you're eating your dinner. Uh, so yeah, not a lot of personal detail, it's just very clinical, very clean lines which is how I wanted to keep it. So all the equipment that I did use, I think you get the option to have a budget version of a machine and then a more expensive version of a machine. And I went for expensive for every single one because obviously, you know, that's what I chose to do. But um, what I think I might do is do a, a sort of a smaller clinic, which is a budget clinic, which would be like a starter version, you know, which is more going to be more realistic money wise if you were actually going to buy a, a clinic and invest in that uh, I think that might be a nice little challenge to do as well but this clinic was um, built on a 40 by 30 lot obviously in Brindleton Bay it was the lot that the original clinic was already placed on on that end corner plot um, it comes in at just less than 163,000 simoleons so that's not cheap at all but I do you know I'm probably only going to have one clinic in this particular world and I thought it's kind of like a clinic slash hospital you know there's nothing that you can't get done at this clinic so I thought why not you know let's just build one main clinic for the town um, and I think for the next clinics that I do I might place some in some other worlds I'll do some different styles of clinics and obviously like I say some starter ones as well 
So again, moving back to the exterior of this build at the very front, I kind of kept it quite plain. I didn't include loads and loads of landscaping or bushes or flowers or anything like that because practically, if you've if this is a lot for animals and a place where cats and dogs are going to go, that's kind of the last thing you're going to want to be planting because obviously they're going to end up getting ripped up. And um, so I try to keep kind of like a realistic element to it when I'm thinking about the design and the front you know I've included these little bollards at the front as well and um, there is a little bit of decoration a couple of trees a little bit of grass and um, just very plain looking at the front and I have included these little benches as well with a couple of bins it's just the kind of thing that I think I would see outside a clinic and there's also a parking meter even though there is nowhere to park <laughs> but I'm gonna put one there anyway they might want to park on the road who knows so I actually really enjoyed doing this community lot and I will be going around Brindleton Bay and obviously replacing the lots already in the world with new ones so there will be more community builds coming up and I'm really looking forward to that because there's kind of like a bar area down at the bay um, or the dock, I don't know what you would call it, at Brindleton Bay and it's, it's really nice but it's such a sweet area and I can't wait to kind of redesign all that and kind of, you know, with different running themes. Um, I have been asked to do some Hampton style houses and it is coming <laughs> I promise you it's coming um, but you know uh, in good time <laughs> So I just wanted to say welcome to everybody who's new, who's subbed to the channel and also thank you so much for everybody who comments as well. You leave me just the sweetest, sweetest comments. Um, I really, really do appreciate it and I do read everyone and I hope that, you know, I don't miss anyone because I always aim to reply to everybody as well because I just think it's really nice, you know, in the big sea of YouTube now, we're just, you know, like a little tiny grain of sand each one of our channels and it's really nice when someone takes the time out of the day just to leave you a comment and give you some feedback and even you know if it's things that you would like to see on the channel or you know comments about the build or even you know criticism if there's something that you think could have been done better I'm all down for for all of that reading all of it because it helps me to know that you're enjoying the content that I'm doing so I just wanted to say thank you very much for them. Really appreciate it. And it really brightens up my day as well. So it's actually Monday now and I've just had a really nice chilled out weekend with my family and with my kids and well I say chilled out, not everything's chilled out. My best friend has gone into labour finally which I'm so excited about. Uh, she started up on Friday night with contractions and everything is looking really promising. It's kind of like a slow process at this stage but I spoke to her this morning and everything's looking so so good and so promising things are picking up and stuff's happening and I'm just getting so excited um I really really love it a bit we've I think I said this in the last video as well we've been best friends since I was about seven and she is just I really miss her because about sort of nearly seven years ago now we actually moved uh, over 40 miles away from my hometown so my bestest best friends are all back in my hometown and I'm not just around the corner anymore so it kind of makes me a bit sad because I wish I was kind of there for these moments you know to be closer to home um, but I said to her I'm on hand you know my phone's on she can ring me anytime I'll talk her through whatever she needs to know because having four children myself I'm like um, um, like a veteran <laughs> this whole labor thing now um so yeah I'm, I'm so excited I really really can't wait and they've got some crazy names as well lined up for him you know she's got some amazing ideas for names so I can't wait to find out what he's called because I really love different names as well um my children have got well my eldest doesn't have a different name I was quite young when I had him um but my others have kind of different names like my daughter Delilah and Sienna and Jensen they're not names that where I live are too popular but I do like different names so I'm looking forward to seeing what she calls him oh and I can't wait for a cuddle but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave me a big thumbs up and if you're new feel free to sub and I'll see you next time